Hey gang, Scott here. In today's video, we'll take a look at the Bleach Bypass filter in On One Photo Raw. Now, this name, Bleach Bypass, it's a reference to a step in the chemical processing for color film, and if you skipped the bleaching part, Bleach Bypass, you'd get this certain kind of look. And honestly, that's as much as I know about the history of it. I didn't do darkroom chemical work when I shot film, but uh, what I do know is what it does in Photo Raw, and it adds this desaturated and interesting contrast look that we don't quite get from other tools. So it's, it's worth it to understand what this thing does. I think Bleach Bypass works well with urban scenes, and maybe if you're wanting to do like a grungy kind of portrait, I'll work on an urban scene here. I'll go to Add Filter and choose Bleach Bypass. And automatically we can see it's kind of a harsh look when we first start with it before and after. And I guess that's kind of the first thing is one of the things with Bleach Bypass is almost always using the opacity slider, just reducing the amount overall, because this is a strong filter. Uh, but I'll, I'll leave it at 100 so we can see what's going on, and then we'll come back and, and dial it back here. Uh, but like all filters, we've got our different styles, and you can choose different ones to see what they're going to do. Lighter uh, is often something I will start with because I do tend to want to increase brightness after I've worked with the, the bleach bypass. But let me just do normal, which is the default. The key slider is amount. How much do you want to bypass or not? And this is what really controls the contrast punch. And so in this scene, those shadows are getting a little bit dark, so I might pull this back, although um, I'm going to keep it at its uh, maybe even a little stronger. So I like what's happening in the center. I'll deal with this, uh, this left-hand corner in a different way. Brightness, we saw that. This just brightens or darkens the overall image. Contrast, we can even boost the contrast more or less. Reset that. Detail, we have a detail slider. This is a different detail slider than other things. It's a kind of a convenient slider. As you add filters, sometimes you either lose a little bit of detail or you, you know, maybe in this case you gain a little bit too much, you want to back it off. You don't have to jump to a different filter. Saturation, I mentioned that this filter will remove color, it will desaturate. So this saturation slider is actually adding saturation to the underlying image. So uh, before adding the bleach bypass, this is boosting saturation and then feeding it through these other filters here. It doesn't, or sliders there, it doesn't really matter for the purposes of the look. But uh, in case you get too much desaturation, you have this option. Tint is something very interesting. You can add a color tint to the overall scene. So in order to increase this up, you know, it's getting kind of warm. And I like what's happening on the street that's changing things. We have the option for a color. I've got this uh, kind of this darkish, more brownish tone. I think I'll use instead a little more of a muted orange and start to creep that in some where I push it really far. We get a very different look on the photo. But um, you know, kind of somewhere around there, I kind of like. Uh, now, I did mention, coming back to that opacity slider, right? This is where it's kind of a strong filter to begin with. So I tend to back the opacity off some. And in this scene, and this is in particular this scene, but in general, the blending options are very useful with bleach bypass because sometimes it's treating things a little strongly, especially in the shadows and you may want to taper that back. So you have your gear menu, go in there, and you have your protection sliders, push the shadows up a little bit. And you'll notice if I push it really far, you can see not only is the shadows opening up, but it's, it's that, that bypass is being reduced. Some of the more natural colors coming through there. Just a touch, just a little bit of a nudge on shadows to protect it, along with brightness to bring up parts that got really darkened by the bleach bypass. And now that I've done that, I might even increase my, my tinting a little bit more. But those three things, you know, before and after, it just adds a very different feel to the photo. And I do think it does work with urban scenes quite well. So if you're doing any type of street work, check out Bleach Bypass. It may give you just this different look, maybe a little, you know, just a little different kind of an edge to it that is worth knowing about, worth exploring. Hope you found the video useful. Got questions? Go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.